Murray Cod. Murray Cod. Oh, God. <laughs> Take 20. Action. <laughs> Not again. Murray Cod are a really special fish, and the idea to make the film, I guess, came a couple of years ago. We did have an initial crack, um, and we were somewhat filming the generic Murray Cod stuff, where it's sort of blind fishing, um, hoping to get an eat on camera, and, and I guess we kind of scrapped that and totally started again from the point of view of how do we capture the cool stuff we've been seeing, sight fishing for Murray Cod, seeing them cruise in the shallows, eating off the top, uh, clear water Murray Cod, and yeah, I guess that was the aim of this film, to show people that there's a different side to Murray Cod that maybe they haven't seen before. Josh got in touch with us about filming um, for this project and, you know, with the opportunity to get it into the, the Rise Film Festival, it was something that you can't really pass up, especially for someone that's, you know, relatively new to this industry. And, you know, I'd had previous um, experience working with Josh before and doing a few films. So, um, you know, to, to be able to film a native species um, like the Murray Cod was just such a good opportunity. And a lot of people, you know, would have concerns that when you go and film Murray Cod, like, you know, you're really only gonna get one or two shots in a day and, you know, you've gotta make sure you get that on camera. But what we experienced was, was amazing and, and unexpected. You know, we, we could catch plenty of fish in a day and, you know, whether it was um, drone eats or close-ups, um, like on the big lenses or whatever it is. We had so many opportunities and things just uh, really lined up for us for the film and um, you know what we ended up with was was pretty amazing. Definitely got lucky on some shots and some fish. We captured some nice clear water stuff, some good eats, some good top water, sight fishing. I guess it's everything that the general crowd doesn't know about Murray Cod uh, you can see in this film and, and we're excited to show that. We wanted to portray, I guess, different sort of approaches to catching Murray Cod. We approached one of the rivers via helicopter, get into a remote area. That was a heap of fun, just seeing the whole valley as we flew down. Uh, we used some kick boats in one of the sections when we met up with uh, Nick Knipe in uh, New England. Definitely plenty of highlight moments in the film. Uh, just some of those sight fish moments we had. There was a couple where just the fish was so clear and getting it to eat off the top in front of us while the camera was rolling. I thought that was really cool. Um, and even, um, I guess I won't spoil the end of the movie, but um, just one of the really big fish we managed to catch was really special. And I'd seen that fish about a week before and to go back and actually catch it on film was a really cool moment. Josh is the kind of the guy where you tell him that you need to do a battery change or change a memory card or whatever it is. And in that moment, he'll cast at something and something incredible will happen. And then he'll look at you and say, oh, you got that, didn't you? And of course you didn't get that and all you can do is let out a sigh. But in this instance, he actually did wait for me. And uh, he's tracking this Murray Cod in maybe a foot or two feet of water. Um, you know, it's behaving like a, a brown trout on a beat. You know, it's, it's sipping things on the surface and moving erratically and um, he's tracking it along and, you know, it's getting towards deep water and worried that it's gonna get out of view and I'm running after him, sort of plugging in lenses and getting the camera on a monopod and doing everything else that I need to do. And, you know, he's yelling, he's about to lose track of it. So I'm just get it ready and tell him that it's all good. And he takes the shot and, you know, that popper had landed. I think he sort of twitched at once and it just propelled towards and just absolutely hammered it. And with this like echoing shotgun noise in the valley, like that was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Yes! Holy crap, that was sick. Did you get that in slow-mo? No. <coughs> no. <laughs> For many of us, it's a fishery that's on our doorstep and you may have trout fishing right up in the mountains, but then as you get further down, there's this sort of crossover where you get cod and trout. Um, and then I guess it progresses into a cod fishery. And certainly uh, Central West, where we do a lot of our fishing, that's the case. I know up in New England, Northeast Victoria, these sort of places you can be catching trout and cod in the same river in the same day almost. And I think that's a great thing to have a fishery um, included in the film festival that people have right on their doorstep. And you know, they don't have to pay huge amounts of money to travel to go and um, do this thing that they saw in the film. They can do that um, right at home. And I guess that's what we would like to see out of the film. We'd like to see more people catching Murray Cod on fly. Uh, we'd like to see people, I guess, exploring in their own backyards and finding out what's there because that's what we've done and, and we've been surprised at how good the fishing is.